So Sufism is really about following that thread, about following that trail of sweetness. It is about this homesickness of the soul that takes you on this extraordinary journey in both the outer world and the inner world. Until one day you realize this place where the two seas meet. I always say if people realize how much love there is in their heart waiting to be lived, they wouldn't worry about and bother with so many things of the world. They wouldn't run after this or run after that because there is so little to be gained. Like the Sufi says, if, if you have just, you know, $10 and that's all you have in the world is very important. But if somebody gives you a million dollars, that $10 ceases to matter. And that's exactly the same with spiritual life when all you have are the little values of your ego. I am good at this, I'm not good at that. The little successes and failures that we chalk up on the board of life. They matter. We even have this thing called self-esteem. And then we have the other. Which is why Rumi says, why do you sell yourself for so little, you who are so precious in God's eyes? And if you knew what love there was on offer, it's endless and it's free. I have bought God, I have bought God. The bargain was easy. I gave myself completely and got Him completely in return. It is so easy. You just have to give yourself. But of course, to give yourself is the most difficult thing in the world because it's you. Because you think you matter, you think you have value, you think it is important. Until one day you wake up somewhere and you realize none of that mattered. It had to be lived, yes, that was the human drama. And it continues to be lived, but there is somebody else there. There is another presence with you. It, he is your companion, your friend, your beloved. God is never a judge. He is not a father. He's not the creator. He is your friend. He is your companion. He is your beloved. He is with you. He becomes a living presence. Wheresoever you go, He is with you. Wheresoever you turn, there is the face of God. And it was always here, you just didn't realize it. You always looked for something else and it was here with you. <laughs> 